right amount of detail. So with that, we've partnered with uh, Pandera, and like I mentioned, we uh, worked with them in the past to help the business, and they provided a great app for us. Uh, the important thing here is we had a really tight timeline. Uh, I'm sitting here, uh, it's uh, mid-July, beginning of uh, January, this did not exist. There was no app. There was basically a requirements document, and that was it. Uh, and that was able to be uh, completed by just uh, having this real, I'll say, lean team and fully collaborating. So we had a representative uh, from the business who was myself and some other folks on the uh, planning analysis team. We had uh, some uh, uh, of our IT folks who were uh, on our B BW team and uh, Mike strategy team. And we had some uh, folks from Pandera. And we basically worked together. We used uh, Microsoft, or Pandera's uh, process that uh, it was essentially kind of scrum methodology. So during that time, we were always in contact. Every day we had an update. Uh, every week we had a status. And uh, if something came up during the day, during the week, we addressed it immediately. But the other important thing there is everybody on that team was empowered to make decisions. So if an issue came up, we weren't going to have to have it go up to manager to manager to manager to try to make a decision that might take a week or two to answer. Basically, everybody on that team knew enough about the product, the business, and the information to be able to make those decisions so that we can just keep on moving forward. And this is kind of touching back on that achieving uh, uh, progress over perfection. If something, uh, if we weren't able to accomplish something, that's fine. That would be phase two, version two. Uh, and uh, because what we're looking for is more of a, uh, a dynamic growing uh, type of tool as opposed to just a static item that just gets sent out. So with that, we did the uh, design process. And this is really uh, uh, based on uh, uh, Pandera. So we uh, work uh, with them, uh, it's, a, it's kind of a three week process. And this was really important because it, it, it defined a lot of items up front so that when we started development, that there wasn't uh, um, setbacks related to going back and figuring out information. It was just a case of just going and building what we identified. So, Brainstorming really started with, we just started identifying all the metrics that could potentially be valuable. Then we went through a process of seeing of those which were available, uh, and you know anything that wasn't available, we are just slating for a later phase. We weren't gonna spend resources to go and identify small pieces of metrics that we didn't know necessarily were valuable yet at the time. Uh, then we went, uh, Pandera came in, they had their, uh, uh, I think they refer to it as balsamic, uh, a bit of vinaigrette, and they create that mock-up, kind of uh, going through with us, help people want to see the information, how it would be valuable, and just kind of give us that, that first uh, toss-up of what it'll look like. From there, we, we worked through the process a little bit more and fine-tuned that a bit uh, with feedback and uh, actually being able to manipulate right there to see really what's the type of output that'll provide information quickly uh, and uh, in a meaningful manner to the end users. Uh, from there, we were able to get a, a, a mock-up, and really the mock-up they provided looks like that, and that pretty much looks like the end product. And this is really just uh, touching on that whole process that, that I just showed through uh, uh, where we just work with Pandera at their initial process of three weeks of just kind of going through where um, identified the various uh, uh, pieces of information that was needed, uh, who the end users were, how it was going to be distributed, and uh, how it... Uh, would be uh, deployed uh, and just going through that process uh, kind of gave us a launching point and I think uh, I'll, I'll let uh, Oscar uh, go over some of those items right now of you know once they, we went through this innovation workshop of deciding all right well now that we know what we want how it's going to look like how are we going to implement it with the technology and tools that we have. Oscar? Uh, hello my name is Oscar Garza I work with Pandera uh, I've work, been working with Mike Shrey for about six years now. And uh, let me go to the next slide, actually. <laughs> so uh, I'm part of the delivery consultants team in Pandera. Uh, for this particular engagement, we worked with a particular uh, initiative that Wawa wanted to, to work on. So, But we also have teams that could do managed services, or we have our, our own infrastructure. We have a cloud team. Some clients have their Mike Shrey environment and it's managed completely by Pandera. We have some human capital teams that work on, on education, stuff like that. Uh, the teams that were part of this project were, the, like Kevin mentioned, project management. Uh, and then uh, the strategic advisors are usually the team that goes in and does the innovation workshop. 
So they, they spend a, a couple of weeks, they fine tune the, the mockups, the BRDs, and then where I come in is I take those, those mockups, those BRDs, and I go through with them in more detail with the client, and then we, we come up with a strategy and see how we're gonna develop that in MicroStrategy. Um, maybe we're gonna have to, to work around some issues, maybe we're gonna have to modify a little bit so that it works in, in all the environments that they want to see the dashboard in. Um, so also, Part of what I wanted to, to say is this dashboard, I mean, it's about seven screens, you know, different line of businesses. It looks simple to the end user, but the complexity of the dashboard, I mean, you need to, if the simpler it is to use, the more complex it is on the back end. So we had about 15 weeks to develop it from nothing to fully working, like no, no more issues. So how, how do we approach that? Uh, what's, what's the strategy that we took on how to like, divide the resources to create the dashboard? So uh, after the innovation workshop, we spent about a week, uh, and again, reviewing the mockups in detail, we would go through uh, mock scenarios. So I would say, well, what happens if, if I'm a user and I click this, and then uh, team was in the room, I was in the room, Sarwat was in the room, we had the project's man management team from Bandera in the room, and we would we just start answering questions, and then eventually you get to a point where you you kind of know what the answer will be. Like, I don't even, I don't need to ask Kevin what's going to happen if, if I can't have a selector that does this because we've already been, been through a lot. So, again, start taking decisions. We, we, every meeting, every day, we started making changes to the BRD, small changes, uh, annotations. Once we, we were comfortable, like, okay, this is how, how we're going to do it, uh, we, we come up with a, a list of responsibilities. You know, what is what we're going to be responsible for? In this case, they were going to be providing uh, the data, they were going to do the, the aggregation, uh, all the calculations for the metrics that they defined, and then we would be responsible of asking, uh, getting the requirements for the queries, so we would have to tell them we need these items specifically, uh, and then we just started working with that in MicroStrategy. So we set up a, a list of internal goals and deadlines, so we, we set up our own milestones, so we say in, what, in one week we're going to be able to take a look at this screen, and then we're going to do a review, then we can move on to the next screen and, and so on and so forth. Um, so again, I, I mean, a small diagram that, that explains kind of like the data load process. So uh, we were gonna be in charge of just importing the queries. So in this case, what we did is, we, well, again, while I already mentioned that we determined the data sets and, and uh, the requirements, uh, but this process also took a lot of back and forth between the teams. So, I mean, maybe I saw a screen and I was like, well, I need I need this rank metric and I need this, this attribute in the query, but then it's not possible to do it. So I would go back with the IT team, like what can you do on your side? What can I do in MicroStrategy? We would come up with two or three options and then we would go to Tim and then say, Tim, like this is not gonna be able, we're not gonna be able to do this 100%, but we have these three options. Uh, we think this is the best one because it's gonna be less maintenance, you know, something like that. And then we'll make a decision, change the, the BRD again and continue with the strategy. Uh, we also agreed on on, on the, the frequency uh, loading of the data, so they, they run a process to to get like the weekly data, the monthly data, the quarterly data, and then we we agreed on, on what the schedules were going to be, how often will we reload the data in MicroStrategy. So if, if I open up the dashboard on a Thursday, what am I going to see? Am I going to see last week? Am I going to see data up, up till Monday? Those kinds of issues. And then before starting, we test out basic functionality and navigation for the dashboard. And we do it in every environment that the dashboard is gonna be, gonna be uh, used in. So in this case, it was for web and mobile. Um, any non-standard requirements, like if they want some special type of navigation or they want some like scrollable selector or something like that, we test it out and we make sure that it works in both. And I'm gonna, it's gonna be clear why in, in later. So if something doesn't work in both environments, we try to to get it to work in both environments, so we tried to change it a, a little bit, um, and this is, reduces the time that it takes to the dashboard uh, really by a lot. Um, so the approach that we took was to do uh, small, independent, like chunks of development. So how, how did, we, did we do that in MicroStrategy? We tried to keep a, a low amount of queries on the back end, so uh, what would we do weekly data, monthly data, quarterly data, and then provide those like three master queries. And then in MicroStrategy, we took each of those queries and mapped it one-to-one -to, -one to an intelligent cube. 
So the, the data, in, in a sense, was governed by the IT, like the BW team, and then in my tray, we just had the, the cubes that, that we were gonna use for everything. So another thing we did is each cube, we separated them not only by the time periods, by week period and quarter, but also by line of business. So this would make, make it easier for somebody uh, later on when they're working on the dashboard, if they want to do some maintenance, it's easier to, to track where it's coming from or, or what it's doing. And then uh, another big advantage is that because this is a, a mobile app, if somebody's on a 3G connection and they want to, to look at a screen, the advantage of having them separated by line of business, all the data sets, um, or by time frames, is that when they click on a screen, we use that as, as individual files in MicroShare, we link them all together, so that they on, they're only loading a small part of the, of the report, and performance was a, a big concern when we started, because, I mean, the dashboards are big, and then we actually, in, in the next example, when we designed the screens for the dashboards, uh, we separated them into types of screens, so if they have a similar structure, we, and then for this dashboard, we call them like the light screens and the heavy screens. Some of them had uh, the ones, the light screens only had two selectors for a, a time period and a region. And those are the, the two blue boxes at the top. So if, I mean, several of the line of businesses use the same format. So this was easy to work on one screen and then <coughs> replicate it for the next screens and then just use a replace data set functionality. So that, that saved us a lot of time. And then for the heavy screens, those screens had the selectors at the top, but then you also have to multiply it because they had uh, 10 categories, different aggregation levels. So it's, it was a lot of data sets, a lot of, a lot of cubes. We tested it out at first uh, with one document for everything and it was kind of slow. So what we did is we further separated those screens into one document per time frame. So we would have one line of business, cigarettes, cigarettes monthly, cigarettes weekly, cigarettes uh, quarter, and then we would link those all together. And uh, we were able to do that because from the start we did that, that uh, iCube and data set separation also. Uh, so another advantage is that we didn't really fall behind in, in schedule, but if we would have, it would mean really easy to get somebody else on board. And then you say, you, you see this, this uh, quarter screen that we worked on, you need to replicate it and then replace the data set, and do the week version, and then you can do the, the monthly version. Uh, so that saved us a lot of time in the end. Uh, another advantage of doing it, of doing that uh, independent approach, was that we also needed to present a development uh, a demo mid-development. So we we focused on one, two, one of each type of screen. So two lines of business, and then we said it, we're only going to do the period screen. So we finished that 100%. And then we submitted it to, to Tim and the rest of the team so that they could get feedback on the, on the usability, functionality, utility of the dashboard. Maybe they're like, you know, I, now in the mockups it made sense, but now that I'm seeing the screen, like it doesn't really make sense for me to, to click here or, or uh, this number doesn't stand out, and can you improve it? And now <laughs> we saved a lot of time. It took us like a week to implement the changes that we got from the feedback. And it was a week for one screen. So one of the screens had like 300 panels that we needed to format. So if we would, we would have continued development and waited to do this review at the end, we would have, t it would have taken us maybe six weeks or eight weeks to, to make those changes. So th uh, this was a really big help for us. And there's really no downtime. I mean, it was like a couple of days for them to review the dashboard, uh, but we would work on other, other things like data validation or a landing page or other data sets. Um, then once we, we got the feedback, we rep it was super easy to replicate the rest of the screens. So it was basically the replace data set functionality in MicroStrategy. And we just had to, to map month to quarter, quarter to period, um, and then just make sure everything looks okay, maybe m move something a couple of pixels. And once we, we finished everything, uh, we got the sign off from the business and we duplicate that for the mobile version. So the reason why we did that at the beginning, make sure everything works in web and mobile, make sure the aspect ratio is gonna work on both. Uh, it took us like two or three days to do the, the web version of the dashboard once we had it. I think we finished with like one day uh, of our initial estimate, so that's it. And then we went to deployment. Now Tim's gonna talk about the app itself a little bit. <coughs> 